All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm here to talk to you about what is streamer mode and how does it help protect you on Discord and in general when you're trying to stream or record using programs like OBS. And the answer is this just kind of hides things like personal information. Certain sections of Discord are no longer viewable. And it also hides parts or entire names of free people's names on Discord so that you can't actually see them, so that people can't try to communicate with you by harassing your friends. And all you have to do is toggle this on, or it even just pops up whenever you turn on a program like OBS and Discord's already open. And then when you come back out here, it says at the top, streamer mode is enabled, usernames have been trunketed. So you might notice certain people in the sidebar, like my buddy here is just a, a, the letter K. This person's just S. And some people aren't. And I'm guessing it's because some people run around using a nickname on different parts of Discord. Uh, and you can see their names are not changed, at least not initially. And some people are. So that's kind of what it does. And down here, it even hides when I hover over my username, it actually hides my system name so that people don't know how to directly contact me. It only shows my visible nickname or my display name of Larry Chupacabra. So if I go back inside of my, my personal user settings, you can see it even hides like my account information, user profiles, all that different stuff is hidden so people can't see that information if I want to keep that private. And you can control under streamer mode what information gets hidden and what stuff doesn't. And you can even go full Monty and hide all of Discord by toggling the bottom little toggle here so Discord's not even capturable in OBS at all. That's actually really nifty. I can just toggle that on and off and I can even see in my preview window it hides that. So what are your options? You can enable it at the top. You can automatically enable and disable it whenever you open a program like OBS that is used to stream and capture different objects. That's what I would recommend. Uh, you can also set it up to hide your personal information, hide game invite links so people can't like pause your stream and be like, oh, there's the invite code. I'm going to get into their private server. Like you can hide invite links. You can disable all sound effects from Discord while you're streaming. That one's actually really nice. Uh, that was one of the reasons why I disabled all the sound and notifications from my Steam, because people would notice when I'm recording videos for gameplay, and then they would spam the hell out of me so that it would cause a bunch of ping noises. And then you can also disable notifications. Your notifications won't pop up while you are streaming, so people don't know when you're getting private communications. And then, of course, the bottom option of just hiding Discord altogether. So you have a bunch of different options to control how you protect yourself and your personal information on Discord, which is very nice. It doesn't necessarily have a specific option for do or do not hide people's usernames, as you can see was automatically happening in the sidebar here. And that is what it is. Um, and then of course, if you want to disable it and you don't want to go into your settings to do it, you can just click the button at the top of the screen to disable it that way. So I hope you found that helpful. This has been an updated guide on what streamer mode and what it does. And you can also get an advanced streamers stream kit from Discord by clicking on this link at the top of the window. So I hope you found that helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.